So how often do people just like walk up to you and say, hey, detective douche? Every day. <laughs> Every day. Yeah, I do love it. I do oh, love it. And I knew, I, I was telling these guys earlier that the moment I read the pilot, and then we're sitting on the table reading, and, and those words came out of Tom Ellis's mouth. I was they, they rung in my ears, and I was like, "Everyone's gonna know me as that. It's great because <laughs> he says it in such a way that it's like sort of like imprints itself into your brain." We're gonna do a Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so Detective Dan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, actually, his story, his arc has been good rest there. Yeah. We see him as maybe the bad guy because she saw him as the bad guy and mm-hmm. saw everything from her point of view. Right. But then as we work with He's actually quite a likable guy, and you can see how they were together at first. Mm-hmm. How are we doing ahead, or can you tell us how we're doing ahead? I just need Brett, so like, I know that I have. Is, is Dan out? Dan is not. He's not. Dan isn't out. Out of the picture, you know. Um, but he, you know, he is forced to deal with the natural evolution of where the relationship is going, you know. And you see how how he deals with that, how she deals with it. He's still very much in love with her, you know, and that, I think that's always going to be there. And and it's great because they've done a really good job with you know writing scenes where there's just a moment where you see, wow, I see where where they fit, you know, and then then it's broken out. But um, one of the cool things that I think that is happening this season is that they're they're sort of diving into the world before and uh, understanding, you know, how they met and um, why they why they why they worked in the beginning. You know, so you see them as a younger as a younger couple in the beginning. So you know, sort of going back a little bit to sort of fill in those story. Um, one of the things about Detective Dan is that he is just, you know, he's a flawed guy. He mm-hmm. is not a perfect guy at all. He makes bad decisions. Even though he looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, you know, he makes bad decisions and he deals with the repercussions of those. Um, moving forward, how is his decision making? Any any big mistakes or any big redemptions coming up for him? Um, <clears throat> yes, yes, and yes. Okay. Um, through talking to, to uh, Joe and Ildi. <laughs> Our executive producers and writers, they uh, one of the things that they say is that in the writers' room, everyone loves to watch Dan suffer, so, and to do that because of the the decisions he makes. So I, you know, when I, when asking what's up for season three, those are the things he says they like to see you suffer. That's going to happen. So you know, I think you, you're going to see a lot more of the same of him making big decisions for what he thinks the right reasons are and then you know getting crushed emotionally you know and you know and, and there's sort of a new relationship with uh, Trisha Helfer and you know and you see how how they connect and you know and how that evolves and where that goes to and you know and the fact that he's sleeping with Lucifer's mom is awesome <laughs> you know and the goddess of creation yeah I know right <laughs> Not even because she comes back for seconds. <laughs> so obviously I did okay. Exploring the Lucifer as a stepson would be would be the ultimate stab in the back. <laughs> what would you say has been your favorite moment or scene so far? Um, <clears throat> I gotta tell you, I, I really love working with Tom and Lauren. Like we have just the greatest time on all levels like we're just a bunch of clowns um, but I think the the most like, the one that always sticks out in my head is is, is uh, did you, have you guys seen the the pudding the, the stole my pudding episode yeah okay that was it oh. <laughs> working with working with Tom and that night and then you know being taken over by the celestial blade and you know, practically wanted to kill him because he ate my pudding. It was really, really fun. <laughs> you know, we had such a great time working. We were working at this amazing house in Vancouver, and it was cold, and it was raining. I was a little bit sick, but we just, we just, we would just go off on each other and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And I think both of us at the end of the night, Tom was like, this is why we do this job, is to have moments like that. You know, because we just had so much fun. So what do you guys do when the camera's not off? You guys are horsing around now. Oh, it's all we do is horse around. <laughs> all we do. I was just telling a story the other day. You know, we're all a bunch of pranksters, and the other we we came back to LA to shoot, um, 
and uh, we were staying at a hotel next to the pier which is where we were shooting so I was like hey screw it I don't need to be driven I'll just get a bike from the hotel and I'll ride the bicycle down the bike path and go and, and so I did that and it was beautiful and I locked up my bike and uh, Lauren while I was on set Lauren uh, called the hotel and was like hi yeah I work on a show called Lucifer and one of my actors is here and he forgot the combination to his bike um, would you mind giving it to me so they gave her the combination of the bike and she totally stole it and hid it and filmed me go crazy looking for that bike cursing her <laughs> yeah um, one of the fun things to watch I think is Dan and Lucifer who obviously are not natural compadres All but right. have built this sort of romance yeah it's strange right yeah it's kind of fun to watch um, any more of that going on definitely um, but this time also more with like I said you know he's um, you know we had that episode where um, earlier in the year where he says you know I'm not Detective Douche, I'm Detective Espinosa. Yeah. All right? I'm a human being. He said he, well, that was his first moment to be like, boom. Uh, and now he does that a lot. And it's even funnier, like that banter. Because because now he has balls. Yeah. So he's like, go. Go ahead, give me more. Yeah. You know? Cool. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Cheers, that was fun.